who inspired me to become an attorney? I had a lot of family members that are attorneys, so I kind of grew up admiring what they did. Saw a little bit, you know, a little peek behind the curtain and always thought I'd enjoy it. Always thought I'd be good at it. Um, they had successful long careers and enjoyed their careers. Some of the qualities that make a successful attorney, in my opinion, you have to be very driven. Uh, you have to be very organized. You have to, I believe, you know, maybe not everybody will agree. I think you have to enjoy what you do. I think you really do have to enjoy what you do. That specific type of law, the people you work with, I think all that helps you. Um, being part of a, a good team, all that stuff helps you. Uh, but you've got to be, you've got to be driven. You've got to be, you've got to be willing to do things people aren't. You got to be comfortable in uncomfortable situations. Um, and you got to be willing to fight nonstop for your clients. And you have to enjoy them. One of the things I like telling my clients off the bat, you know, I tell them a few different things. Um, you know, one of the things I try to convey to them, um, no matter how I say it, is always, you know, this is a little bit of a journey. You can't get frustrated. You have to understand that time is going to be on the bigger company side. These insurance companies, you know, if they can drag it out, they will. That's the nature of the beast. Um, so you've hired a big firm. You've got great attorneys here. Um, and so you just have to be willing to understand that this is going to take a little bit of time and patience is going to be one of the things that pays dividends in the end, you know, because they're banking on someone that needs money right now, but they can, you know, offer a little bit of money just to go away. I mean, they're banking on you to just hightail it and run when things get difficult because they're going to try to make it difficult. Um, so I always try to tell them, you know, settle in, trust me, you know, take your hand off the wheel, let me do the work and we'll, you know, and keep, First and foremost, keep a solid line of communication between you know them and I, and everything will be fine. Maybe that's the path of least resistance to getting this done. What do I like most uh, with Fair and Fair? I really enjoy uh, my coworkers. I enjoy the, the structure of a bigger firm, um, having the resources available when things get difficult. I enjoy you know the supporting cast. You know, kind of the playoff that that we have, having this you know brain trust of people we can go to and bounce ideas around with, you know, having open communication within the firm. You know, you always feel like you're always improving. You're always on the cutting edge. You're always, you know, giving it everything you've got. Um, you know, clients will see that, hey, I'm their attorney, you know, but there's several other attorneys that I can bounce ideas off of or anything like that. So when you hire Fair and Fair, you really do kind of get, you know, a lot more than just the attorney you work with. My pitch to anybody looking to hire somebody in the Tampa area um, for personal injury would probably be, you know, it wouldn't be that long. I'd probably say something like, hey, you know, you're not going to find anybody working harder. You're not going to find anybody that's going to work harder. You're not going to find anybody that's more honest. You're not going to find anybody that communicates more effectively than I do. Um, and whether or not you want to go for it, that's totally up to you. And it's, you know, again, the relationship is so important that you know you kind of have to want to be if you were picking an attorney want to pick me as an attorney um so that's totally on them and all i can guarantee is that it's going to be very very hard for them to find anybody to do it as well or, or better